Well, after a long day of travel and getting to know the town that we're going to call home for the next six days, seven six, days, seven days, we're going to do some hot springs. There's two in this area, and we are going to try out the city hot springs, old town hot springs, the one in town. So let's see what they're like. Ready? Well, that was a blast. That hot springs for being a public hot springs was actually really, really nice and really fun as long as you stayed out of the general public pools. Otherwise, there was kids hitting you with pool noodles constantly. Alicia is in there showering up right now. I made it back to the van first and I think it's like midnight snack time. It's 930, but I'm hungry. Let's let's do some food. Yeah. We are picking you up today. Just wake it up a little bit later than we would have liked, but it was a nice sleep. I'm gonna take Sage here for a little walk while somebody gets ready. <laughs> It'll be a good day. Today our plan is pretty simple. House up at a coffee shop, catch up on some work that we both need to do. We're gonna go see a dog film festival tonight that's happening in this little old theater. It's pretty cool. All right, come along for the ride. You that are curious, this is where we slept last night. There was not this much car noise all night. This started at about eh, 8.30. But Main Street, our van tucked in right there. Well, now we are back at the van and getting ready to head to the coffee shop. We'll meet you at the coffee shop. And with that, we're done with work for the day. Now let's go out and explore. So we are going to the film festival later today, but we got rained out of putt-putt yesterday. So now we're gonna see who wins at Putt-Putt. My guess is Alicia, but I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> Yours a hole in one. Did you see mine? <laughs> you didn't because it went everywhere. And a hole in one. That was some editing bull. Putt Putt Golf Course was actually really, really fun. If you're in Steamboat, go check them out. They're, I don't know, over there somewhere. All right, just so you know, it's called the Maverick Mini Golf Course because Cody, I can't remember. They were they were actually really, really entertaining. It was a really small course, but all of the, all of the courses were really detailed and really unique. I liked it. A plus. Alrighty, so we finished with Putt Putt and now we're heading to the film festival. It's apparently the New York City Dog Film Festival. Should be fun. I don't know, it's about dogs and dogs are pretty awesome. <laughs>
guys, after a long day of work, we are now hiking up Fish Creek Falls. We just passed the Fish Creek Falls and uh, it was packed with people. I'm glad we came on a Wednesday and not a weekend. Yeah. Now we're hiking to Long Lake, I think, five miles. We passed a couple people coming down and there wasn't that many cars in the driveway. So yeah, an empty trail. All right, let's do it. <laughs> We are at the top, we're like in the middle of Fish Creek Falls and Long Lake Falls. Totally didn't realize that they were different. I thought the lake was five miles and Fish Creek was like two and a half. Ends up, Long Lake is like seven miles and we're like halfway there. Well, we haven't even eaten dinner. To be fair, I think that Fish Creek Falls is 5.5 miles. And then I think Long Lake is seven miles. And I hope that's including the Fish Creek Falls trail. Because that would mean there's only two miles left in the hike, but that's definitely not something to do after work on an empty stomach. Like, I'm starving. Yep. So, we're going to call this spot the end, but first we're going to get some drone footage and Alicia's going to change. We brought her some different clothes and we're going to do a little photo video shoot drone shoot. So, should be fun. Just turned into a uh, trail run. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Making it. Doing the trail. I think we have like a mile and a half. It's but getting dark quick. Hell. I mean, because you're hiking so slow yeah. uphill. It's true. I'm bummed though. This spot, these aspens, are like, I wanted to do a fly in with the drone. But it's so dark now that I wouldn't be able to do it because be I'd have to take the ND filter off, which just adds too much time. So then it'll just be dark. Uh, ready to run. <laughs> guys we spared you from a day of work after that hell of a run we got back had some king super sushi and went to bed we were very tired yeah took a shower too yeah it was gross <laughs> <laughs> so now we are up close to the hot springs we're gonna go to those hot springs later but first we're actually gonna shoot a couple videos the one is gonna be the van tour which means it already came out so it's up over here and then we have a couple other that we're shooting right now and then we're gonna go to the hot springs so yeah this is our last day in Steamboat, and uh, it's kind of sad to see it go. This little town is freaking awesome. It's awesome. It's a little expensive. Yeah. Other than that, it's really cool. I mean, everyone that we've met was really nice, so. Yeah. We're going to go camp, and then that'll be it. So. I guess we'll vlog that. Yeah. Call it the end of this vlog. Okay. Catch you guys later. Oh, ow. Oh. Destroyed. All right, guys, for our final night in Steamboat, we headed up I-40, turned off into the National Forest, and we're lucky to find this little camp spot. What's up, everyone? 
everybody. If you missed our van tour, guess what? It's right up here. You can see what kind of conditions we're living in. Uh, it actually came out really, really cool. I used a bunch of special effects on it that I, I really ended up liking how they went and a couple that they didn't. I look ridiculous, don't I? Eh, that's okay. That's part of van life is looking ridiculous and not caring.